Lincoln's late run to the playoffs has picked up some real momentum. Only league leaders Portsmouth have more points over the last 10 games. And with Oxford and Stevenage involved in really tough matches this evening, there's a big chance to bring that top six even closer. Meanwhile, Gary Monk has picked up a draw in his first game in charge against Northampton. That brought to an end the run of four straight defeats that came before his arrival. With the drop zone only five points away, though, Cambridge will be eager to keep racking up those points. Lincoln have been on such a fine run of late. 11 games unbeaten now in League One. Looking for the early breakthrough here. The cross will drop for a chance. And the chance from the angle is hammered in quite brilliantly. Moylan is there and it's taken only three minutes for Lincoln to put themselves ahead. Well, it looked as though the chance had gone after the initial cross. The angle so acute, but Moylan had confidence in his step and confidence in the strike as he smashed it up into the roof of the net. Again, it's out towards the left-hand side where Lincoln will look to build. Crossfield diagonal ball sends it in the opposite direction. Sorensen is there. And Sorensen is just about denied. Lovely slick passing from Lincoln. So easy on the eye. corner is sent in and attacked with real purpose by the Lincoln players coming in the flick to the back of the area certainly made things awkward eventually wide it goes on the back foot slightly Cambridge in the early stages here been a ferocious start by the home team it's another crossing opportunity here from the left, a crossing opportunity that's briefly cut out. One back and swept in, and it's goal number two. Moylan is there. It's his second of the night. Arahan did really well to win it. And found Moylan with the pass. Here's the interception. There's the ball into the feet of Moylan. And it's a lovely finish, and it's already 2-0. Passing and moving. You don't often see in League One. Looking to build another move, and it's another good chance. Sorensen this time is the one denied by goalkeeper Jack Stevens. Really pushing for a third. And they were just denied. As it stands, looking set to stretch their unbeaten run to 12 games. And they've started the second half well. They're in, and it's the simplest of finishes for Joe Taylor on the line, who is there to make it three. Well, the message sent to the rest of the league after the 5-1 win against Barnsley was pretty loud and clear. But again, Lincoln rampant here. Mandroyo with the pass and Taylor with the tap in. Cambridge looking for a response. It's a long way back. You have seen it done. Sumped away, Lincoln. Seen quite enough of that at the back. 
They may be looking for a bit more action at the other end in front of goal. Taylor again, this time denied. Stevens down quickly. Well, they have been so quick, so purposeful on the break. This time a good stop by Cambridge United's goalkeeper. Bigby turning and giving the ball away, winning it back though. Cambridge have been rather swarmed in that central area, but now they find some room where so far tonight there has been very little. Ben is past, Brophy does well. It's a lovely Maisie run and it's a brilliant fingertip stop. Lucas Jensen there to provide it, pushing over the bar. Would have been a sensational goal from Brophy. James Brophy finding room to attack. And picking the ball up here, it's a good looking chance. And it's one that he can't convert. Looking to lift it here over the head of Jensen. Needed the perfect weight. He was maybe an inch away. losing out in the challenge and that means that Lincoln can break and into the area Taylor looking for his second of the night lifts it brilliantly over the racing Jack Stevens who was coming out to claim well the goals keep on racking up for Lincoln on to four Taylor with his second a really smart finish of room out on this left-hand side and Duffy is brought down as he tries to advance and he wins the free kick plenty of red shirts up inside the area they're not done here Lincoln searching for goal number five oh there's the delivery there's the chance and they're still not done. Aoma is there, waiting after the initial hit. O'Connor thought that he'd scored. Goal number five, though, comes from Aoma, who is just waiting inside that six-yard box. Brilliant save initially by Jack Stevens, but he couldn't stop this one. Here is the substitute, Duffy. Duffy can't find his way through, does find his way underneath Stevens, though. Lincoln pile on the misery here for Cambridge United and make his six goals to nil. Well, Duffy thought that he'd missed his chance here. Having tried to turn the ball into the area, decided to go for goal. And did pretty well, although Stevens will certainly be disappointed. Brophy. Gets the whistle. And the yellow card for Duffy. Cambridge looking for a consolation. And that just about sums up their night. That is about as close as you could come to scoring. Really hasn't been their evening. Brophy. Trying to travel. He's fouled. Free kick in a good spot. And a yellow this time for Taylor. Around the wall. 
And wide of the post. Well, what a night again for Lincoln, who keep on impressing. For Gary Monk, Monk it's been a tough start. Really tough against the Lincoln side, who are now 12 games unbeaten. Another big win after the five goals against Barnsley. It's six here. Moylan with two, two for Taylor. Aoma and Duffy completing the 6-0 win.